when they first got Jerry Judy the other day, like, we still need to go for, a, for an A wide receiver. I go, you're not going to get that guy. I mean, this is done. Well, and they don't have a first-round pick. And they don't have a first-round pick. But can you get a guy? Is your scouting good enough? And according to Michael Lorraine, it's not. Is your scouting good enough to get a guy in the second round or with any one of your other picks that can play higher to it? Well, history wouldn't tell you that much. And I'm glad you mentioned the Amari Cooper thing because I do think that in a lot of ways, I like what Andrew Barry's doing, but with these trades, he's still living off Amari Cooper's trade because of how well Amari Cooper's performed for this team when you gave up a fifth-round pick. And fans do not care about the money. So $20 million, $60 million, it doesn't matter. He's performed to a great level. But with Elijah Moore, there's question marks there. With Jerry Judy, there's question marks there. But when you see a lot, when you see Amari Cooper, you say, all right, let's see if this thing can work out. And Elijah Moore, you know, he was not a malcontent with this team this last year. He wasn't that way. I do think that they used him in some spots maybe they shouldn't have. I think they tried. I think they were forced because of Nick Chubb's injury. They had to do some things with Elijah Moore. But as they were able to calm it down and just make him a wide receiver, Joe Flacco was able to find him before the injury against the New York Jets. So there were some things that were working out there. I don't want to give up everything on Elijah Moore, but is he a big contract, big wide receiver guy? More than likely not. Jerry Judy's a first-round pick. Can Jerry Judy be that guy? He has a long road to get there. Yeah, Kenny, all I'm asking is, how do they go about getting their next number one wide receiver? Because Amari Cooper is not getting any younger. Probably in next year's draft. Or unless there, unless there is a guy in usually wide receiver drafts here over the last, gosh, we're going on the last decade. They've been There have been a lot of misses, but they've all felt very deep at that position over the last five to ten years, for crying out loud. So there will be somebody in the second round that fans during the draft will start to circle and go, why can't we get this guy? Because they're exciting. They're exciting draft picks. Now, will the Browns go ahead and necessarily get that guy? Well, if they feel that he's better than X, Y, or Z in positions they might need, then, yeah, I think that they'll squeeze the trigger and get that guy. I'm not going to rule out a wide receiver by any means just after they, dra- they traded for Jerry Judy. And he's worth a flyer for a fifth and a sixth-round pick.